Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome to Amaya's Kitchen. Um, today we'll be doing general settings. So, we are gonna do the most basic settings, the first set of things to do once you've opened your store. All right. So before anything else, let's scroll down and disable password. That's the first thing we need to do. Disable the password, click save. Next, we want to go to settings, general, and we want to start making some small changes here. Just a few changes. So, the first change is we're gonna do we're gonna change the email address where it says store contact email and sender email we're gonna switch that out to our support email and I would like support at a Maya's kitchen dot com or any other support email that you choose could be info could be help whatever it is and we'll go into how to get your get yourself or get your store a nice classy support email as well next we want to edit the legal name of the business the reason we want to do this from now is when we go to generate the legal pages it will populate with this information as well as the legal name of the business and some of the address information All right so mw online marketing and commerce sir this is so this is the company this is my company what we do is customer service, online marketing, and e-commerce. And this company is the official owner of our store. So have to add that in. There's a phone number already, as well as the address from when you signed up. And moving down, we're gonna change the time zone. I want it to be EST says GMT5 which kind of it kind of tracks me to Jamaica <laughs> so that would suck because they try to get me to do like a verification every every single time I log in so, yeah so we want to change the time zone if you are somewhere else change it to a US time zone it's one of the ways that Shopify kind of uses to track you. Um, central time is good. GMT6. I like Imperial for the weight system. It doesn't really matter, but I just like Imperial. And then we set a prefix for our site. This is what our order number will look like. Now, the reason you want to set a prefix and not just leave it with the default hashtag or number sign, whatever, 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 is because you want to differentiate your order number from another store's. In the event that a customer has an issue and they contact you, you need to be able to verify that yes, this order indeed came from my store simply by looking at the order number that way if you don't have the generic um the generic order number someone comes in and say hey mine is order number one zero zero one but you are like no my orders are of the format number sign a one whatever whatever k so if that's not the order number that they have or the, the the sequence of the order number that they have then it's not from your store and this just serves to you know help persons to find a store that kind of wrong them if 
if something went wrong with their order on the other store or on whoever's store now once you have this information completed we click save and that's that we have completely set up the general information of the store the next set of settings we'll be going into is shipping then legal then payments and then we hop onto the different apps and categories collections products then the theme all right so guys remember to like share and subscribe it really does help if you haven't started your store already there is a link in the description it gives you 14 days free trial go ahead and use it it helps the channel out helps me out helps you out because we're gonna be using most of the revenue generated from this channel to test crazy advertising schemes to see what works with this store so it's all our story guys so all right thank you for tuning in remember like share and subscribe for me